Live from WFSB, Connecticut's number one local news, this is Channel 3 Eyewitness News at 7. Good morning. It is 7 o'clock this Wednesday morning. I'm Nicole Nalepa, and we continue to follow breaking news from overnight. After nearly 10 hours of heated debate, the state Senate passed a controversial police reform bill just before 4 this morning. This bill would make it easier for people to sue individual officers, but those officers would only be financially liable if they knowingly broke the law. Despite it passing, Democrats and Republicans continued to disagree about the impacts. I think you can see some police officers retire and leave early. Uh, maybe that won't happen until July 1st, 2021, but I think you'll see that. I think you'll see municipal costs go way up. I think you'll see insurance costs go way up. I think you'll see less police. We're just glad that we could get enough people to come forward and stand up and, and show the people who were out there protesting and calling us and having small group talks with us that we could push this through um, so that we can make a change in police accountability. The bill would also ban chokeholds and require body cams for police officers. Governor Lamont says he plans to sign the bill. And we're also following some breaking news this morning in Wallingford, where we learned a woman from Meriden died after a crash that took place last night. It happened just around 730. A Jeep Wrangler and Honda CRV collided right on Route 68 in North Main Street Extension. We're told 58-year-old Karen Gabriel died at the scene. Four other people were taken to the hospital. And this morning, Wallingford police will continue to piece together what happened. Also, some sad news out of Waterbury to share with you this morning. Two young men who were reported missing after they went swimming in East Mountain Reservoir have died. Police say the victims were floating on an air mattress when it capsized. Crews were called to the reservoir just after 6.30 last night, and divers were able to pull the 17 and 23-year-old men from the water, but were told they later died at the hospital. Turning now to the coronavirus, our state may have one of the lowest COVID-19 infection rates in the country, but Governor Lamont says that if we are not careful, this could change. Now, the latest numbers show 94 more people have tested positive in our state out of more than 7,600 plus tests. That means just over 1% of tests returned positive. Five more people have died and there are five fewer COVID-19 patients in the hospital this morning. Connecticut expanded its travel advisory for people visiting from other states. Illinois, Kentucky, Minnesota, Washington, D.C., and Puerto Rico now join 31 other states on the list. That's about two-thirds of the states here in the country. Anyone arriving from those places need to quarantine for 14 days and then fill out an online form so the state can track them. Talks are expected to resume today on the coronavirus relief bill. White House negotiators and Democratic leaders admit that they remain far apart on several key issues, including a GOP proposal to protect businesses and schools from COVID-19 related lawsuits. The Republican plan slashes federal unemployment subsidies from $600 per week to 200. Democrats want to keep unemployment benefits as is. Starting today, parents in Lyme and Old Lyme will get a chance to talk to school leaders about the district's reopening plans. They will be holding the first of a series of Zoom meetings that will take place starting at 5 tonight. So you can see the details of when officials will be talking about each school right on your screen. And there's a link for the meeting right on the town's website. As professional sports get underway in the U.S. once again, one sport has already been thriving during this pandemic. Unfortunately, it's not baseball. College eSports players tell us that they are getting opportunities other students can't get right now. The University of New Haven says it's partnering up with video streaming service Twitch and game equipment brand HyperX to help educate students through a new class this fall. And people we spoke with say it's big business. For the lack of a better term, it was the only game in town for a while, right? So uh, awareness definitely has gone up. Uh, acceptance has gone up as a form of, because uh, ultimately it's a form of entertainment. The university also plans to announce a Master's of Science in eSports business come January. All right, it's been hot and it's going to stay hot today, but the good news is the humidity levels are going to be coming down. Let's take a look at yesterday. 95 didn't break the record of 96 at back in 2016 at Bradley, nor did it break the record in Bridgeport with a 94 degree reading. You think, my, hey, wow, I can't believe it. But 95 will stand in 1949. So uh, no records yesterday. It is uh, the fourth day of the heat wave, the fourth 
heat wave of 2020. 93 Saturday, 94 Sunday, 98 Monday, 95 Tuesday, and today we're calling for temperatures in the low 90s again. But the humidity levels are going to be coming down. 23 days of 90 degree plus heat thus far this year. That is impressive. And if you compare that with last year, last year for the entire year we had 27. This year thus far, and we're only on July 29th here, 23 days thus far. We are in second place for the hottest July on record. Uh, that is since we've been keeping records back in 1905. Great day for the beach. Head to the beach. Temperatures today in the mid to upper 80s. Uh, New London high tide 559 this afternoon. New Haven 739 this evening. And the water temperature delightful at 74 degrees. Our Channel 3 early warning dual pole radar scanning the state dry. The storm threat is to our west today. And uh, that's good news. All right, take a look at the current temperatures. 67 in Berlin. Notice the dew points in the low to mid 60s. We had some upper 50s this morning. West Haven, a little bit uh, milder along the shoreline. 63 in Washington, 66 in Plainfield. And we'll take a look at uh, our West Hartford ICANN. What a beautiful sunrise it was this morning. Isn't that gorgeous? We'll take you right now to Ocean Beach in, uh, in uh, New London. Look at this. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? What a great day. A little bit of cloud coverage down there. That's because of a storm system that's moving by to our south. So you might be dealing with a little bit of cloud coverage uh, to start the day, but we should see partial sunshine along the shoreline as well as inland Connecticut, if not mostly sunny skies. Temperatures today uh, are starting off in the upper low to mid to upper 60s, and the dew points are in the low 60s as well, which is just great news. More eye cams. we got a bug on the lens in Hartford. Good morning to you, Mr. Bug. New London, again, a little bit of that cloud coverage sneaking in from that storm system to the south and east of Connecticut, and stores looks good. So as we move you through the day today, the temperature is topping out in the low 90s, partly to mostly sunny skies, a little bit more in the way of cloud coverage in southeast Connecticut, but under partly to mostly sunny skies, temperatures should make it into the mid to upper 80s. So it's a great start, mostly sunny today, not as humid. And as you can see, there's a, some shower and thunderstorm activity just to the south and east of Connecticut. That is going to glide away from us, so we don't have to worry about that. Daytime highs today in the upper 80s and low 90s, mostly sunny, lower humidity. It's going to be a hot one, another hot one tomorrow with an isolated shower or thunderstorm threat. Friday, Saturday, Sunday look good. Temperatures flirting with 90, and then they cool off a little bit for Monday and for Tuesday. Let's check if your early warning forecast. Nicole, we'll send it back to you. All right, thanks, Scott. And thanks so much for tuning in to Eyewitness News on this Wednesday morning. Remember, you can get news and weather updates anytime on that Channel 3 app. Enjoy those beautiful temperatures Scott was talking about. Have a great day.